G'day guys, Audi Triple Five here, and today I'm rocking my new camera mount for my AS100V uh, Sony Action Camera. Not too sure how the angle's looking, I haven't tested it yet or, or streamed it to my phone or anything. But it looks alright. So I'm riding now 100 kilometers an hour, so this is me talking a bit louder into the microphone. This is just me talking normal. As if I was just having a conversation with someone that's in front of me. So I can hear a lot of wind noise coming through my helmet and underneath it and everything. That it makes it hard for me to hear what I'm saying at the moment to you guys. But hopefully the microphone is able to pick up the audio and bring it across nice and clear without too much wind noise. So this new camera mount, I like it. It looks stylish. A lot better than the suction cap and I've got a lot more confidence that if I hit a bump or something like that that the camera is just not going to fall off. Not to mention the microphone plugs straight into it so I don't have to worry about that annoying syncing of the sound and video getting them all lined up. nice and cool. Seeing as we're talking about um, cameras, I want to talk about the legality of having one on your helmet. Now, a lot of people have them for safety, such as what I've got. I, not, I, I don't just have mine primarily for video blogging, that's just the a, a side effect, I guess, of having one on there and having nothing better to do than just talk into it. But primarily I've got this camera on here for safety. If some idiot cuts me off, or if I'm involved in an accident where it goes to an insurance claim, I will have video footage of what actually happened as opposed to someone saying this or that, you know. Someone crashes into me or something if I'm riding along and they say, oh, he was speeding on a motorcycle. He was ducking in and out of traffic and make up a whole backstory, you know. It sounds like something that someone on a motorcycle would do, so the insurance companies might believe it. But at least I'll have that backup to say no. This is what happened, I've got it all on video. Now, a lot of states in Australia do not let you have a camera mounted to your helmet and basically the ruling is that you're modifying your helmet and making it unserviceable or not meeting the standards or requirements of, the, of what is required, so the Australian um, motorcycle helmet standard. By sticking a camera onto your helmet, technically you're modifying it and null and voiding that helmet. I think that's absolute rubbish. For the simple fact that if you've got a camera on your helmet, you're doing it for safety. If someone cuts you off, you want to have that recorded on there. So it's your word against theirs. These days with motorcycles, you always hear about accidents on the news, and they always involve someone speeding, or someone's not wearing the right safety gear or something like that. Do you know if those stories are actually true? Like, was that person speeding or is it just evidence based on what the person who was at fault is saying and the motorcyclist isn't able to stick up for themselves because they're dead? So I like the peace of mind of having a, a camera on my helmet. It just makes the ride so much safer, I reckon. Not only does it give you the option to record it if it goes to an insurance claim, it will make other drivers out there think twice about what they're doing because you're capturing it all. You know, you could have some dude doing a road rage incident or someone cutting you off on purpose. And if you've got all of that on videotape, they're the ones that are going to be the fool in the end. And no one wants to be the fool. So it kind of keeps people in line. They see that camera and go, well, I better uh, not be an idiot because it's going to end up on YouTube and it's going to be viral and it's going to be like everyone on the internet is going to see how much of an idiot I am. So if you're watching this and thinking I'm speeding everywhere, my speedo is actually out by about 10% around that. I haven't actually had it checked 100% against the GPS but going off other riders and drivers I know that it's about 10% off. Recently there was a law case in Victoria where 
a guy contested his fine of having um, a camera mounted to his helmet. He contested it in court and he lost. And basically they said, no, you can't do that because it doesn't align with the Australian standards. Have a go at this, right? So Queensland and Western Australia coppers, both, in both of those states, they ride around with cameras mounted to their helmet, exactly like what this guy in Victoria had. And he had to cop a fine and pay for it and because it didn't align with the standards of Australia. Yet, law enforcement in Queensland and Western Australia are able to ride around with these cameras for their own protection and it's brilliant. I'm so glad that they do because they should. Yet, this guy in Victoria is getting fined and as far as I can tell, is doing no different to what the police are doing except he's paying a fine which then goes to raise revenues potentially for the Victorian government. Now, is that what it's come down to uh, in Victoria, where they just nitpick anyone to be able to cop them a fine to help raise revenue? Like, that's that's pretty dismal, eh? Like, you're looking at people's lives here, their helmet, it's, it's not that much more dangerous. They're mounted onto a sticker. If it hits the concrete, it's going to just rip off straight away. Cameras made of plastic, they're just going to flick off. They're usually bulbous and cumbersome. They're, they're not going to just stay on there. They're going to just flick off the helmet straight away. Yeah, it's not making it any worse. I'll be interested if anyone out there has actually done any testing with a helmet, like got an old helmet and stuck an old camera on it and stuck a crash test dummy and smacked it in the, into a wall or something and, and see if the actual camera falls off or causes a dent. Because that sort of stuff is what I'd envision to be supportive of the case of it's actually not that dangerous having a camera on your helmet and the benefits of having one outweigh the negatives of having something on there. So yeah, that's basically it, eh? What do you guys think? Do you think I'm just rambling on about, about an issue that is null and void? Do you think that motorcycle helmets should be able to have a camera mounted to them for safety? Or do you think that no way it should happen. Should technology companies get out there and invent smaller cameras or cameras that are tiny that can attach to a helmet and have a recording thing you stick in your pocket or something so that they don't protrude larger than five centimeters or five millimeters from your helmet and make it legal, you know? What do you guys reckon? Cuppers! He's going to book me now for uh, having a camera on my helmet. Uh, thanks guys for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, rate, comment, subscribe, all of that crap. And I'll see you guys next time. See you next Tuesday, I should say. Yeah, it's got a nice ring to it. See you next Tuesday, guys. Well, anyway. Laters.